Hello everyone and welcome to Horror Tales The Wine, but not the demo this time. This time it's the full game. I should give thanks to Carlos, the developer, for actually giving me a chance to play this game a little bit early. Thank you very much. The game should be out tomorrow, the 30th of July 2021. Check the link down below in the description if you do want to get this for yourselves. Now, I played the demo to this roughly a year ago, and it's been in my mind ever since. I had a great deal of fun with it, and I know I'm going to have a great deal of fun with this full release. If you didn't see the demo, if you don't know what this game is about, well, I'm going to be playing as a man who travels to a Mediterranean archipelago in search of a bottle of wine. Apparently, this wine has unique healing properties. Alright, I really hope you enjoy it. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, like or dislike the video, but we're going to start a new game of Horror Tales The Wine. So, a pandemic which causes strong fevers, terrible delirium and death has relentlessly decimated the inhabitants of the archipelago. Rumour has it that a prestigious red wine produced in the capital can cure the sick. You are Marty Vermello. In a desperate attempt to cure the infection of your loved ones, you steal a boat and head to the winery where the red wine is made, somewhere in the capital. If you find just one unopened bottle of red wine, it'll be enough. On reaching the island, you decide to go to the winery owner's estate to try your luck there. The Bani de Bosque family estate is close and has a dock. A cold smell of death, calm and silence comes over your body when you arrive at the dock. They sealed off the infected families in their own homes without food or water. But even then, the quarantine didn't work. There is no one left alive. So it seems. Ooh. <laughs> Don't believe this advice! Okay, alright, I won't. Alright, welcome back everybody to Horror Tales The Wine. And let's just take this in, this looks beautiful. And look at that statue on the mountain, was that there before? I don't remember that. Although I suppose it's been a while since I played the demo, so maybe I just forgot. But yeah, this is a marvellous looking game, so let's just sort of take in the scenery here. There's another one up there. Alright, I'm calling shenanigans. I don't think these guys were in the demo. Seems like a detail I'd remember. I don't know, maybe I just forgot. But uh, yeah, let's just take this all in. Take a deep breath. And then let's leave. Ah, oh, I can't sail home now. I need to find this bottle of red wine. Can I swim? Okay, I can't swim home either. Never mind, that hasn't changed since the demo. <laughs> right. I suppose what we're going to be doing in this video is going through the demo sections again, but we can see what's changed. And uh, let's start by going this way. Uh, I see this hasn't changed since the demo. This is still broken. This is what I'm after. I just want to find a sealed, unbroken one. Yeah, you're not going to be finding me licking this off the floor. What we got here then? A warning, okay. Due to the publicly known situation in connection with the so-called Devil's Fevers, we inform that certain canals and underground passages are closed until further notice. Anyone who attempts to forcibly open these accesses will be punished to the fullest extent of the law. The remaining open canals are available for use provided that lockdown curfew hours are observed. I will not be observing them. Hope you don't mind. Right. Now, Carlos, the developer, actually requested that I go down this way, and I'm thinking, did I actually go this way in the demo? I don't think I did. So this might be new to me. So what we got? Another broken bottle? Yeah. I don't suppose I can get through, can I? No, it's locked from the other side. It's blocked. So let's see. We can jump. We can crouch. We can find uh, an unbroken but empty bottle of wine. We can sprint, of course. That's another empty one, isn't it? So is that the wine or blood, do you think? Hmm. If I get a run-up, do you think I could make it across there? Maybe I don't need to go through the gate. <laughs> uh, I'll try it in a moment, maybe. Right, let's go this way. Yeah, I don't remember this bit. I don't think I went this way. Okay, it looks like a dead end, but we've got something here. Another warning. Right, so due to the notorious situation caused by the Devil's Fevers, use of all canals and public tunnels is strictly prohibited. Passing through any interior public space is prohibited under penalty of death. If passage through one of these spaces is necessary for you to reach your residence, request a passage permit at any military headquarters. Free movement in any public place is strictly prohibited during the first four days of the week and is limited to necessary activities related to health or work. Well. This is related to health, in a way, but something's telling me I'm not going to be getting one of these permits. Right, so... 
Maybe. Oh. Oh shit. So it seems, right? So it bloody seems. Yeah, I am not alone here. And off he goes, whistling into the tunnel. Yeah. For some reason, I don't want to jump across now. Yeah. I, for some reason, I want to go back on myself. <laughs> Is that why you wanted me to come down here, Carlos? So I nearly got shot? Touché, sir. Touché. Right. Let's, uh... Let's go out into the daylight and let's go up the steps, like I did before. I know this is safer. Yeah, it's going to take me through the tutorial, basically. It's quite a nice little section, actually, to get you familiarised with the controls. And we can read a little bit more about, uh, well, rewards for the killing of any Banny de Bosque. A bounty offered to any citizen who hunts down members of the Banny de Bosque family. The reward will be double for children and triple if the dishonourable Mr. Banny de Bosque is captured alive. They should preferably be killed with a weapon which does not cause them to bleed, but if a rifle's necessary, avoid shooting the head or arteries which may cause pools of blood to form. Now, instantly, I'm wondering, what is this wine made of? Is it blood? Maybe that's why they don't want you to use a rifle. They don't want them to bleed because they're trying to preserve it. Hmm. We remind you that leaving one's residence during quarantine hours is still prohibited and everyone must take extreme precautions to combat the devil's fevers. We all know what the Banny de Bosques did, but that does not mean that the rest of us as citizens have a free pass to ignore quarantine just to hunt them down. Well, I don't know what the Banny de Bosques did. Not yet. I'm sure I will by the end of the game. Hey! <laughs> you don't know what to do with yourself, do you? What we got here? Another warning. Uh, okay, we won't be going to Pasaje de Ronda by the looks of it. Okay. Yep, so not getting through there. Instead, we need to go up here. Yeah, this game is so bright and colourful and vibrant. But it's still an effective horror game when it wants to be. You'd be surprised. I really hope there's people watching this that didn't actually watch the demo video and they're going in blind, because, well, this is going to be a real treat. Right, so can't get through there, but I should be able to slink under here. There you go. Right, okay, so certain cupboards and drawers we can open, and sometimes we do find things. This is not one of those times, apparently. Uh, I want to say we need to get through there. Right, through the door. Alright. No, it's not alright, actually. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> that gave me the fright of my life. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, well, um... Yeah, he's, uh, he's poking around up here as well. Okay, maybe, thankfully, this door needs a key to be opened, so we need to find a key. I want to say the key's around here somewhere. Let's have a look. Okay, haven't found it yet. Oh, we've got a newspaper article here. A strange fever extends beyond the slums. The first cases of widespread fevers have extended beyond the slums, reaching the other side of the river towards areas where wealthier citizens live. For the moment, there's no reason to pay much attention to these fevers. Although, at this time of year, it's strange to have so many cases of flu, authorities are telling the public not to be alarmed. In an unusual press conference with the Honourable Mr. Bernie de Bosque, the mayor gave his approval for wine production to continue. Even so, according to information this newspaper has obtained, if cases of fevers continue to rise at the current rate, the entire slums district, where the vast majority of immigrants live, will be closed off in confinement to stop further spread of the fevers. Immigration and diseases. Problems and solutions. Well, there you go. That gives you a little bit of insight as to uh, how immigrants are treated around here. Right, this key, is it up here? At some point, we will get a light source, we will get a flashlight, but it's not for a while, as I recall. I think, to be honest, the key might be down here somewhere. Not in there? Ah, oh, there it is, you can't miss it. It's a big boy, right. Okay. Ah, there you go. So, through here. And let's try this door again. Okay. So where the hell did he go? He didn't jump into the ocean, did he? Kinda hope he did, but uh, <laughs> I think we'll be seeing him again. Right, so let's continue our journey. 
I've just got a big smile on my face playing this again. Yeah, I actually don't mind going through this section again. The demo was so fun, so yeah, looking forward to this. Okay. Right, that's where I want to go. That building over there, that sort of villa. Oh, I remember this. Yeah, can't get through. It's locked from the other side. You can see it's kind of barred by this plank. And this thing is a lever. Let's see. I don't think that's going to be enough to break it. No, we need to get on the other side. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to that later. For now, let's just continue following the rats. <laughs> let's go this way. Here we are then. Ah, right, yes. Okay, so we're going to find a few of these. Uh, this is partially a puzzle game, and this is related to one of the puzzles. So I need to memorize this, really. So, yeah, okay. Uh, more bottles. They're either broken or empty, though, as memory serves. Yeah. Is anyone else getting a Sapienza vibe? That Hitman level? <laughs> <laughs> I think I probably said this in the demo, but yep. A year later, I'm still getting that vibe. There's another one of those red sheets up there, so we're going to need to find a way up, but I don't think it's for a while. For now, let's just take a look at one of these. Let's try this one on the right. Okay, to the Bani de Bosque family and their employees. As you well know, there's a strange fever ravaging the nearby areas that border your mansion. For your own safety, we urge you not to leave your property at any time until all of this has passed. With this notice, we have no intention of accusing you of anything. It is well known that the fever originated in a poor neighbourhood where idle immigrants live in vomit-inducing conditions. I give you my word as governor that when these fevers have passed and everything's cleared up, those vagrant illegals will receive their punishment. You know how important your winery is for the island's economy, so please excuse me for suggesting that you stay in your mansion, cut off from contact with the outside world. But believe me, I recommend this for your own health and well-being. Nevertheless, things still went to shit by the sounds of it. What's this? Okay, it's come to our attention that several of your employees have been infected with what some are calling the devil's fevers. For your own safety, we recommend that you isolate and dismiss these filthy and irresponsible persons, and that under no circumstances you or the members of your family are to leave your mansion. Who knows what sort of low-class immigrants they've been spending their free time with. Additionally, your granddaughter Leia has been noticeably absent from classes for some days now. We hope she's well. Without wanting to cause offence, I remind you that if you or someone in your family is experiencing fever, you should inform the authorities for your own welfare. Hmm, maybe the granddaughter caught it. Alright, three out of three here. Due to uncontrolled infections related to the devil's fevers appearing among your employees, as governor, I'm forced to confine your entire family and temporarily put a stop to any winemaking activity until further notice. Effective immediately. Looks like the family were assigned four military guards. They're the link to the outside world, and they'll take care of purchases and other necessary errands. Hmm. Okay, right. Uh, let's see. Let's go around this way. I'm pretty sure this isn't going to work, but uh, yeah, let's just get these barrels out of the way. This door here? It's locked. Opens from the other side, right. Yeah, I'm I'm certain this statue wasn't here. Was it? Am I misremembering? <laughs> okay, we can't go into the hedge maze. Not quite yet. Um, we're going to need to find another way in. So you can see that most places around here, they're either bricked off or shuttered up or... Yeah. Okay. Any and all who are found helping members of the Bani de Bosque family or their employees will be placed in quarantine in a cell for five months. That seems oddly specific, but fair enough. We urge all not to accept bribes from members of the family since they have all been infected with the devil's fevers and constitute a serious health danger. All tunnels and underground accesses to the winery, private cellars, and the farmhouse have been sealed off and are monitored by the authorities. Any family member by the last name Banny de Bosque found by the authorities outside their mansion will first have their belongings confiscated and burned, then be escorted back to the mansion. There is no escape, essentially. There is a lot of reading, though. Let's see. Ah, it seems that the granddaughter passed away. The government sends their sincerest condolences. Right. But uh, it seems they tried to keep her uh, 
her health a bit of a secret. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, because of that, your entire family will be forced into confinement indefinitely without any contact with the outside world until further notice. Yeah. Well, there you go. Okay, so we can't go that way. Uh, what we need to do, I think, is go down there. Yeah, more broken bottles of wine. Another one of these. Okay, so a, a vase and a bottle. I've got to remember that they're paired together. You'll understand why shortly. Um, can we go through here? Nah, lock from the other side. Right. And what have we got here? Okay. Oh, it's the bounty again, isn't it? Fair enough. Yeah. Hunting them down. Crazy, really. Right. So it seems that this is pretty impenetrable, right? I do not want to end up like that box. <laughs> right, what we got here? Uh, oh, Mr. Vanny Dubosk is complaining about poor building work on the structure and access to the private cellar. But actually, because of that, I think I can get in. Right. This way. Uh -huh, I've just got to skirt around the outside here. Don't fall in. Remember, I can't swim. <laughs> Duck under here. Okay. Can I jump across that? It seems oddly safer. Right. Um, right, let's get these bricks out of the way. And we're going in. There you go. Right. Ooh. Well, that might be it. That might be the cellar that we want to get in. Is there anything else? Let's have a little look around, shall we? Okay, that's uh, that's shuttered off. Wow, so many bottles down here. But none that I actually want. Okay, another one. Okay, so it's like the leaf with a corkscrew. That's a pair. Ah, right. Hmm. To be honest, I... Thought the door would be closed. Is it locked? It's locked! It opens from the other side. Okay. <laughs> My memory is not failing me. Not yet. Alright, so yeah, we can't go through that way. So I think that's why we need to use that hole. This game looks so good and it plays so well. It, it's so smooth as well. It runs beautifully. Right. Okay, so... Uh, I think there's a there's a hole back here. Hang on. Let's get all this out of the way. There you go. Right, this is our way through, I believe. Oh, maybe it's not. Maybe this is another way down, actually. Oh, oh there is a gap there, but a little bit too tight for me to squeeze down. Huh, okay. Um that Oh, there's another hole. Ah, there you go. This might be why I was remembering. And, oh, shit. <laughs> I'm stronger than I think. Right. Okay. This way? Okay, there's a way down there. Don't know if I want to go that way, to be honest. Uh, hmm, another way down by the looks of it. I think that's really the only place I can go. So, here we go. Ah. Oh. I only slightly broke my leg, don't worry. What we got here? As if it were not difficult enough to work with the Bandit Bosque family, now they've become paranoid because of everything but the fever, and they've ordered us to install these strange metallic doors. They're simple to operate. To use the doors, push hard on the lever on the wall. The lever's stiff, so you'll have to use some force. The door will shut automatically in a few hours. Okay. Right, this is what they're talking about, so another one of these levers. Just gotta hold it down. And there you go. So, that's blocked off, is it? Yeah. Damn, right. Yeah, there's, uh, there's no going back for me, I'm afraid. Right, down here. Hmm. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I, I don't like flickering lights in this game. It usually spells disaster for some reason. I suppose I just gotta jump across, have I? Let's do it. Okay. 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 <laughs> Another dead end by the looks of it. Yep, okay. Well, we'll go in this way then. Ah. Oh, right. 
Ah, what was it? I did see it in controls. Was it... Ah, P for photo mode. you got to finish the game to unlock it. Or oh, you don't have to. You can just unlock it now. But uh, I think there's, like, secret items back there. Little collectibles you can find if you want to play through it a second time. Uh, I'm not going to do that at the moment. I'll leave that, uh, I'll leave that for you guys. Right. Right, this should be a nice, soft landing. Again, broke another little bit of my leg. <laughs> but I can still move. It's okay, it's okay. Up here? Right, let's get these planks out of the way. They're not helping anyone. Right. Uh, there we go. Nope. <laughs> Is that why this one's red? Because this one doesn't actually get destroyed? Let's put it down gently. Okay. Well, it works. More wine, but it's broken. I suppose, really, when shit went down, and everyone knows about this wine with healing properties, people just raided this place, didn't they? It makes sense. Can't go that way. Can we... Oh! Right. Again, a slight break to my leg. <laughs> That's three breaks now. Uh, this way, I suppose. Oh, here we go. Oh, but those ones that I was seeing earlier on the red paper, I don't think they're for this. Right, so that needs to be that by the looks of it, okay? And we need to find out what the other two are. But we need to find two more blue pieces of paper. And then, well, that should be the right code to get through. But right now, we don't have it. And there's another one. Oh, yes! As it happened, that precise moment, I remembered exactly what was going to happen. Fucking hell. Oh god, okay. He's the weirdest fuck enemy, but he's just very unsettling, and he will just appear at the most random moments. Oh, fucking hell. Okay, so... What's this one? Oh yeah. Okay, so those two are paired together. Look at this. Look at this. What is going on? <laughs> I really have no idea. Okay, let's go down. Okay. Oh, okay, that's a fourth break. I have a feeling it's all to the same leg too. Right. Gotta keep our balance as we go across here. Breaking boxes on the way. Um, so, yeah. Don't ask. Because, honestly, I, I just don't know. There we go. Yep. And we make it to the other side. <laughs> it's like we're in the Arctic somewhere. But on some other planet. Right. Okay. Oh, there you go. There's the third one. Or... Okay, so it's leaf and corkscrew. Right. Okay. Well, I, I should be able to figure it out now, shouldn't... <laughs> shouldn't I? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We're back. We are back. Oh, and there's four of them now. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay, so that one is that one. It's the leaf and the corkscrew. Right, so hold on. Hold on. Can I quickly go back and see the others? So the jug with that. Right. Yeah, that's it. Oh, and there's a nice reminder. There is actually a stamina system. We can't run all the time. Okay, so it's the glass with the bottle. There you go, okay. There you go, and glass with the bottle. That should be right. Let's see if it is. It is, wonderful, there you go. So we're gonna have to do the same kind of thing with those red pieces of paper a little bit later on. I'm still kind of getting my breath back from, uh, from that scare. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this is great. This is going to be a fun playthrough, I can tell already. If you are enjoying this and you do want me to turn this into a series, let me know. Leave this video a like. Let me know in the comments. I mean, I'm going to be doing it anyway, but hey, just help me out. <laughs> help me out with the algorithm, would you? Oh, that's right. Okay, so... Physics puzzle, right? Hold on. If I put that there... 
Is that enough? Do I need another one? Okay. Ah, actually, if that's weighing that side down, I can jump across to... Ah, uh, well, I might be able to jump across to that one. If I'm quick, or if I find maybe another block to put down. I don't see another block. Maybe I can do it if I'm quick. There you go. Right. So, all the way around, yeah? <laughs> That's why I slowed down. Uh, okay, let's go all the way around the outskirts. Sidling along the wall. Okay. I think that one just broke because I looked at it funny. What about you? Yeah, okay. I have like a death stare or something. Right. Yeah, so uh, certain sections I remember. Certain other ones I... Whoa! Definitely don't! Oh, Jesus Christ! Fuck me. Right, okay. This way. What the hell? I love how the environment just changes like that. Fucking hell. Right. Uh, okay. There is a door up here. Oh, I'm running out of stamina. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, Jesus. Ah. What? Okay. Wait. What? <laughs> oh, I thought I was done for, for sure. Oh, electrified? As well as my broken leg? It's not good, is it? Bloody hell. Yeah. Yeah, the flickering lights spell danger, as I recall. So where's this? Back back where I came from, I think. Okay, so we want to go this way. Straight ahead. If possible. <laughs> okay, let's go up. Oh, man. Alright. Okay. Yeah, thankfully that guy does make his presence known. What the hell did I just hear? Yeah, he, he usually comes along with that music. Ah. Ah, remember this area? Right, we're on the other side now, so let's drop down and... Let's see. Right, let's take this bar off. We're going to want that to get away, and we're going to want to open this. So now this can follow the tracks all the way down this slope. But we want to go up there, don't we? Yeah. Did you hear that squeak? Yeah, the rat agrees. So... Okay, how... How do I get back up here? Because I think... I think that's what I need to find out. Right, so it's up here. Right. Okay, let's see if I can get the timing right. I'm pretty sure I didn't before. Right, I'll have to wait for my breath to get back. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so I want to get up here. I don't want to sprint the entire way because I've run out of breath, but uh, I do want to take a little bit of a ride on this thing. There you go. And then I can jump across. Hey, there you go. Yeah, I think before I just let that go down and I didn't really know what was going on, so I had to redo it. Right, here we go again. They've got these weird gates and doors in the most odd places you'll find. And some of them. And stay open for too long. Right. Left. Let's go left. I think that's how I got through this before. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe not. But still, if I hug the left wall, I will get through, won't I? So, yeah. Let's go this way. Okay. I'm just sticking with my process. Following the rats, kind of. Who are leading me to dead ends. <laughs> Don't trust the rats. Okay. Mm-hmm. To the left again. Yep. Alright, this is looking promising. Again, a, a lovely view. All paper worthy, really. But yeah, we're uh, we're back at their estate, back at this villa. Uh, I don't know if it's this way or if I keep on going. It might be this way. Hmm. I hope we actually get to go over there at some point. Ah, damn it. Another dead end. Foiled again. <laughs> Still, this is the way. It's got to be the way. Okay. Up against the side of the building. 
Is that... I think that's another dead end, so right, yeah, let's just stick to the system. Hug this left wall, or this left hedge, and hope for the best. Uh, yeah, alright. Feels like I'm going the wrong way here. Yes, I am. Okay. Still, it's nice to know. <laughs> That's my excuse. Ah, right, here we are. So, uh, it's still locked up, but, um... I hope that door isn't. If it is, then I've certainly missed the key. Oh, good. Okay. Right. So, let's see. Um, I believe we are going to find a key somewhere in here, probably for that gate, right? Nothing there. Oh, it's like a gun cabinet, but mm, no weapons, unfortunately. That shut it up. This isn't. Alright. Looks like there's something down there. What we got? Nothing? No? Yeah, oh, something here. Mother and Father, a school essay. Mother and Father are two gigantic statues you can see from almost every part of the capital where we live. Mother is at the top of the highest peak on the other side of the bay, and Father stands at the place where almost everybody works, the Bani de Bosque winery. My father works for them too, as a servant. No one knows who built these statues, but they let the Bani de Bosques build their winery below Father because they were so nice to everyone. Whenever someone here is sad or crying, they usually go up to visit Mother. Mother's good helps people who come to make her feel better. Father's good too. He helps the Bani de Bosques and all of us make the best wine in the whole wide world. Right. Okay. Mother and father. Interesting. Alright. Seems a little bit odd. Let's go through. Ah. Ah, yeah. This is how we get up to the upper level, isn't it? Yeah. Over here. Right. Brilliant. Okay, so yeah, a lot of blocked up windows and doors. But here we go. One that we can get through if we know the code. So yeah, uh, well there's one right there, so uh, let's have a look. Let's just switch this around. There you go, there's one. Now I want to say I saw one right here, right here. Okay, so there you go. The Bottle, that's... Wait, 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 wait. Okay, it was that one. I seem to remember seeing symbols that look very, very similar to each other. Like, one looked like a bundle of grapes, one looked like a bundle of leaves, but... No, it's that one, so we got those two. We just need to find the other three. And there was one... There was one down there, but unfortunately I didn't bring my binoculars. Um, one below me? Yeah... Yeah, we, we can find the other ones. Let's, uh... Let's go back. Hmm. Right. Got very nervous doing that. <laughs> yeah, let's go down here, shall we? Okay. God, oh, look at this. More storage for more wine, but... I'm not going to find it here, am I? Ah. Oh, well, this door I can open, so there you go. There's our shortcut back down here. So where does this go? Alright. Wait. Was that the door that closed by itself? It it was, right. So it's the leaf and the corkscrew. That's right. So that's, that's where the other one was. So, yeah. Leaf and corkscrew. And then there were, uh... There are a couple down here. There's one on the floor and one on the wall. So... Was it... Oh, no, no, that's just a, another wine stain. Here it is. Okay, so the glass... Right, okay. Okay, there you go. The uh, the pot, the vase with the bottle over there. Right, so we've got all five. We just need to enter that in, pull the lever, and well, there you go. We're through. So yeah, let's use the shortcut. I'm still a little bit concerned about that flickering light, though. <laughs> For bloody good reason. Right, okay. Jesus Christ.
Okay, out here. Wait, wait. This has changed, hasn't it? The hedge maze has actually changed. Right, th that, that, that wasn't open before, I'm pretty sure. There wasn't an opening there. This game just changes it up like that. Right, okay. Uh, while he's behind me, I'm gonna go through. Okay, okay. Right, 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 right. Oh, I'm out of stamina. I'm out of stamina, but I'm running across. I should be safe. Okay. Uh, now I just need to remember exactly what I saw. Okay, I think this one's right. That one needs to be the bottle, doesn't it? And then was it... was it that? Let's see. Is that right? That's right. Okay, there you go. <laughs> you crafty bastard. All right. You're coming with me, are you? Right. Uh, into the darkness we must go, I suppose. Oh, right. What, what do I do? It looks like there's something down there. I think that's on the outskirts of the building, though. I, oh! Oh, okay. <laughs> there was a trap door in there somewhere, I guess. Oh, there you go. The ground under your feet cracks. You fall on the debris, and you are knocked unconscious. Slowly, you begin to wake up. It's night now. You remember someone dressed in black who came near you and locked you in the room. You're unsure if it was real or a dream. Your eyes slowly adapt to the light, and you wake up with a terrible headache. Little by little, your vision gets less blurry. Okay. So this is going to move us on to level 2 of 5, I believe, and this is another level that I went through in the demo. I'll at least get through the demo section in this video. Maybe I'll do a little bit more afterwards. Right. Oh, look at that key. Is it for this door? Yeah, it's locked. That's the key that's going to open it too. Something here? No? Uh, this looks a little bit different. I don't remember all these bird cages, to be honest. I do remember these symbols, though. Yeah. Ah, is this how we... Yes! This is how we get out! Right. Damn, another one of these shutters. So down we go. Right. So, here we are. This is the, uh... The Bani de Bosque estate. And this is apparently locked. Hmm. <laughs> Pressing X to doubt on that one. Uh, okay. Okay. Need a key to get through there, but... I don't know. Can I... Can I go underneath the floorboard somehow? I think I can. But maybe not here. Right. Let's go this way, shall we? Okay. Alright, more symbols. Hmm. Anything to find? Maybe something in the drawers. No. Nothing there. Okay. I'm gonna go through here. They shot her. Those miserable lowlifes shot my wife from the same barricade they built themselves to keep us in. I was trapped in the kitchen while she was bleeding in the hallway. I heard her as she died, trying to get to the dining room. Our son is scared and doesn't want to leave his room. Everyone has abandoned us. All of us who did so much for the capital and its economy, hunted like dogs. Everybody blames us now for what's happened with the wine. We've gone from heroes to scapegoats. Now I'll try and move out of the kitchen. Go save my son and run to the dining room, the safest place in the house at the moment. The Bani de Bosque name can't die, but if it does, it'll be on my terms. If they break into the house, they won't catch us alive. The most honourable... Ms. Banny de Bosque. Right. To be honest, I, I thought that was going to be Mr. But Ms. Apparently. Fair enough. <laughs> Anything in the fridge? Uh, no. That's a grimy looking fridge too, so I'm kind of glad about that. Okay. Well, there you go. Obviously barricaded, bricked up. But we've got a newspaper here. Oh boy. In a tremendously irresponsible outburst after 28 days of quarantine, an indecent mob from the slums attempted to flee by crossing the bridges. They organized during the night, and in the early hours of the morning, an armed mob headed towards the bridges, attempting to cross them. 
The mob, mainly comprised of vagrants and immigrants, showed their colours right as they arrived at the bridges when they tried to shoot the guards on the other side. Luckily, none of the guards were killed. Fearing that this would happen sooner or later, the authorities were already prepared and opened fire from their parapets on the other side of the bridges. The dead numbered in the hundreds, although none of the guards were killed. Once they saw it was impossible to escape over the bridges, many of the rebels jumped from the windows into the river. None survived the drop-off at the waterfall. The authorities fear that because of this mob, even more residents from the slums may have been infected by the devil's fevers. Deaths in the coming weeks are expected to number into the thousands. First executions carried out for those fleeing the slums. We must stay united and stop situations like this one that occurred several weeks ago from continuing. The economy will revive when the devil's fevers, as you now call them, are over. This newspaper is appealing to the personal responsibility of each and every one of us. If that means going hungry in confinement, so be it. For the good of all, the alternative is death. Rock in a hard place. If a citizen sees someone escaping from their residence and does not report it, they will be executed. Scenes like the one from yesterday at the bridges cannot be repeated. Individual sacrifice or execution. Yeah. Ooh, tough choice. Sophie's choice, you might say. Okay. Um, let's see then. Down here? Down into the basement? All right. Okay, another barred door, unfortunately. Wait, what was that? Wrong code? What? Oh. <laughs> oh, well, I can't input the code until I get on the other side, then. Oh, bugger me. Um, right, well, up here? Oh, ah, I see. I thought I could get into this room somehow. Yeah, so I can move that out of the way. Oh, funny, it's not locked anymore. Right. Down beneath the floorboards we must go. <laughs> I promise we will get a light source soon. Probably. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is good. This is really good. This, uh, this really does have a, an air of quality about it. It's got a lot of polish. And uh, I'm enjoying every moment, even though I've actually gone through this before. So that's saying something. All right, we can stand up here at the very least. Okay. Ooh, members of the Bani de Bosque family over there. You can see some remains, a skeleton. Not a good sight. <laughs> see, what did I tell you? They have these in the strangest places. Okay. Right, well, <laughs> we're still in the dining room area, just kind of sectioned off, unfortunately. Anything here? No? Ah. Ah, I think I... I think I need to use these as, as stepping stones, really, to get up. Yeah, that's it. That's how we do it. Right. Let, oh god, nothing but darkness that way. <laughs> I do like how the brightness adapts. It, it does give this uh, a certain cinematic quality, I suppose. Right. Okay, well we got this door open, so... Ah, yeah, the key! We got the key. So that's... Oh, oh, it's not for that door. Ah. Interesting. Very interesting. So, I wonder if the key is actually meant for... That door. Right. There you go. We're in. I mean, we're in properly. Yeah. Is that the Honourable Mr. Banny de Bosque? I think they're all empty, aren't they? Yeah. Well, this one's broken, so pretty much same thing. Uh, bugger me. Okay, well... Uh, can we go through here? Oh, apparently we can. Is that where we want to go? Uh, I think so. I think everything else is sort of shuttered up or, or bricked off, isn't it? So, yeah. Okay. 
It would be kind of funny if you do find like a full bottle just in the middle of nowhere in chapter two out of five and you just have to carry it for the rest of the game. What is that I'm hearing? The flickering light, oh god. Right. Okay. Oh, this is one of those ones you have to hold open. Doesn't look like there's anything else down there, so... Okay, right. We're going through. There you go. Oh god, it's dark again. <laughs> Can't wait till I find that flashlight. Okay. Right, okay, so glass and bottle, that's easy enough. Barely see. <laughs> Alright, the other two. I guess I could just guess away at it, but uh, is that one? Oh, that certainly is. Okay, so let's see. Right. Is it that one? I can't really tell. I can't really tell. I, I think that's it, though, so... Well, let, let's try it. Each has a different symbol. No, that's the wrong code. Alright, well, it... It's got to be this one. Is it... Is it that instead? Okay, well, there you go. Apparently this works. Let's get out of these flickering lights, shall we? Oh boy. Okay. Yep. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be here for a sec. <laughs> nah, I don't think he's actually here. Not this time. I don't think I'm gonna get shot quite yet. Right. Through here then. Uh huh. Let me guess. We have to follow the blood. Of course we do. Oh, hey. <laughs> uh. Thankfully he can't see, because he hasn't got any eyes. Because he hasn't got a head. So he kind of works on audio in proximity. Alright. I think we kind of want to go through him, don't we? Yeah, yeah, I can see a lever behind him. So we just need to... We need to pull him away. Oi! <laughs> we heard that. Right. <laughs> Very Captain Jack Sparrow, isn't he? Right, come on. Oh. Okay, I'm through. And he's not. Good, good. Just the way I like it. Okay. Uh, this way? I'm not remembering this section very well. Which is a good thing, really. <laughs> I suppose I still can't swim. Nope. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, well, we're going this way, and uh, we're going to see if we can stay dry. Down here? I don't know, actually. No. No, I think I want to go high. I think I want to go up there. But of course, there's no ladder, there's no ramp. I'll just have to use the beams and the rafters and stuff like that, won't I? That's it, that's it. Right, so I should be able to jump across. Nice. Uh, oh, <laughs> there you go again. Don't know my own strength. Uh, no, no. I will find one of these bottles, I know it. Probably at the last chapter. Right, over here. Uh-huh. Let's keep on going, jump across. Under here. There you go. A little bit of a platformer, really, when you think about it. And then down here. Perfect. <laughs> and all that, just to get on the other side. Okay, so, uh, five different symbols, some of which you may have seen on the walls. I know I've certainly seen a few of them. Uh, I'll have to re-explore and note these down, really. So... I, oh, Jesus Christ. The fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Oh, oh, I see. Okay, no going back for me. Right, well, hopefully uh, the codes aren't through there. Well, there's one of them, so it's the circle. Right, okay, let's just note that one down. So it's this one. 
that's that, apparently. Okay, so four more to go. I think I've seen two or three of them. Uh, was there one here? See, there's symbols all over the place. What the fuck did I just do? <laughs> Is that just me kicking things around? Yeah, like here. But I think the ones I'm after are specifically just paired with each other. What the fuck? What is going on here, exactly? Weird. Very weird. There you go. Okay, isn't that the Omega symbol? Okay, so... Yeah, that was definitely one of them, and it's the, uh, it's the same symbol! So... That's it. Okay, so the left and right, they're right. But the middle three, that's what we're looking for. Now, I want to say that one was actually in that room that I started in. Yeah. Here we are. There you go. Alright. So let's rush down there. Let's sort that out. Uh-huh. Okay, so just two more to find. I don't know if there's someone below the floorboards, or if there's like a physics glitch, or what. <laughs> well, it looks like a physics glitch, but I don't think it is. Weird. Ah, uh, well that's not weird. There you go. Okay, so that with the triangle. Okay, right. So, just like that. So, it's just this one, really. Should we take a guess? We've had that one twice. We haven't had that one at all. Let's give it a go. I've got high hopes for this. Yeah, there you go. There you go. It's a shame I didn't keep my notes from a year ago, because it might be the same combination. Right. Huh. A cat. Or maybe not. I think I'm just seeing things. Yeah. <laughs> There's something in the air around here. Right, down here. Oh god. It's so dark. I'm gonna get a flashlight soon, right? <laughs> I hope so. Uh, how do we get through this? Oh, oh! Uh, can we jump off this? Yes! There you go. Alright, well... Down we go. Ah, oh, well that's going to be a problem. The mechanism has no lever, so we need to find it. Uh, I think it's probably through here. Seems like a safe bet. Yep, there it is! Okay. Oh, it's a heavy bugger. It's really slowing me down. There's no sprinting either. Oh, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me now. My finger is hovering over the E key. I'm ready to drop it. Okay. No one's chasing me. Okay. False alarm, maybe? I don't know. I'm still a little bit dubious. I don't I don't trust this. Oh what? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, fuck, I can't go back on myself either. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, yeah, I'm tripping again. <laughs> right. This looks so cool. It's so unique. Damn. I think I'm going to struggle to find the, uh, the right image for the thumbnail. I mean, there's just... There's so many good opportunities. Right. Oh. I see a lever. Where are we taking it? Uh, well, there's a door over there, but you, you shouldn't need a lever to open a door. Let me just drop it here. I want to say it's over here. Uh, yeah, there you go. There's the mechanism. No lever. Right. And what's up with the door? We can't just go through, right? Blocked, blocked, blocked. Needs a key, needs a key. 
Well, I think we... We do find a key around here somewhere, right? Hmm. Well, I mean, I, I need to... I need to sort the bridge out, I suppose, so... I bet it's over there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's take the lever through and uh, let's slot it back in. God, oh fucking hell. Right. Oh, there he is. I was waiting for it. I was holding my breath for it. Right. I might have to do this in stages, quite honestly. Because this is, this is going to slow me down carrying this thing. Right. Is this the quickest way through? I don't know. Oh. Fuck. Okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> Around here. Okay. Up here. Right, yeah. Come get me. Come on. Bring it on. Okay, it works. It works. Okay. <laughs> right. I might be able to get this in the slots. Oh, I don't know. It's going to be tight. I can put it in. I can put it in, but I'm not going to use it. Right. I'll have to do that later. Did you just take a swing at me? <laughs> Maybe I should try and bop you back. Shame I can't try. Right. Such a weird enemy. But just very unsettling and unique. I like him. Yeah. He always seems to be popping out at the wrong moments as well. Always when I don't want him to be there. Or when I least expect it. Carlos has done a pretty good job sort of timing his appearances, I think. Right. Oh, really? Oh, 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 it, it could be here? Oh, shit, right. <laughs> uh, well, I hope it is, because otherwise, what the hell's the point in coming across? There it is. Got it. Ooh, Jesus Christ, okay. Yeah, I mean, he, uh, he's just trying to swat me, but his swats hurt, you know? <laughs> he's had some training. Oh, fuck off. And apparently he teleports as well. Okay, well, nevertheless, I, I still got the key. Should be able to open it, right? Close the fucking door. Oh, shit. Oh, not again. Uh, okay. Well, wait, hang on. Well, so this is just a dead end? Maybe I have to go through here, where I found the lever? No? So it is through here? <laughs> it is through here, alright. And down we go yet again. Awesome. Okay. Um, don't know where to go, to be honest. Let's go down here, shall we? Yeah. Okay, two levers. <laughs> Any funky shenanigans this time? <laughs> Just going into pitch black darkness. Last time I did that, I fell through the floor. So, yeah. Sorry, but I don't think it's going to be happening again. Right. Do you want to volunteer to go in? If you survive, maybe I'll go in. Nah, he's just pacing back and forth like me. I can kind of see some light in there. Like, when I'm standing here, I can kind of see the wall. It's like a cell, essentially. I guess this one's the same thing. But I can't really see. I need to find that flashlight. Right. Um, this way? This way? <laughs> Uh, can I? Hey, ooh. What's that? Ooh. Ooh, okay, I don't like that actually. Maybe I want to side with this way instead. <gasps> Sounds like someone's on the way. Can we jump up here? Ah! Unfortunately, no. Right, okay. This way? Okay. Well, we got we got this on rails. Do we want to send it back? 
I, th I think we do. Yeah. Right. But annoyingly, that's sort of blocking our way. Now, you know what? At that isn't so much of a problem. Can I just run? Yeah, I should be able to run and, and get on that thing. It's just about timing, I believe. So let's use it now and then rush over. Need to lower this as soon as possible. Come on. Oh, no, I ran out of stamina. But you get the concept, right? So, yeah, let's just let's send this back. And I'll have to try that again. It's a shame I can't go straight through, quite honestly. This would be a, a much easier way of getting up there. I suppose I can reach through, can I? No. <laughs> I should be so lucky. Although, to be honest, maybe it pays to wait. Yeah. Maybe I'm not going to rush off that way. Maybe I'll actually slink behind it. There you go. Yeah, that's it. Plenty of time to spare. Alright, that should keep it from tilting too far back. And we can go across! Haha! <laughs> and apparently clothesline myself on the fucking ceiling. Right. Well, now I'm up here. I don't want to go down. <laughs> I presume I wanted to go up here, right? Okay. And down. Right. Oh, bloody hell. Is this wine really worth it? Uh, I don't know precisely who it is in my family that needs the help. Maybe all of them. I don't know. Maybe I used to live here. Maybe I, uh... Maybe I'm like the lone survivor of the, uh... The Devil's Fever. Right through here. Okay. Pitch black darkness again? I think not. Let's see. Are we gonna go up or down? Uh, I'm I'm gonna go down. I think. Yeah. If memory serves, we are approaching like the end of the demo section, so we'll be into the new stuff soon. So if this is the second time you're going through it, like me, well done for sticking with me. Hope you're still enjoying it. Right. Fines for property owners who do not properly maintain their structures. As part of the new economic plan, the government has decided to fine owners of buildings and properties with facades facing the public street that present an undesirable appearance. These owners will have a period of two weeks to repair any problems. Two weeks? That's not enough time, especially if everyone's getting repairs done. If left unrepaired, fines will be issued. If repairs are still not made, the property will be seized. Fucking hell, they're not dicking around. The governor wanted to personally explain these new urban policies. In a press conference where no questions were taken, he stated that the island's economy is heavily dependent on wine exportation. He clarified that this was not a criticism of the Bani de Bosque family. However, he feels that the capital needs to find new ways of generating income, and tourism is one of them. Therefore, he explained that if we want tourists to come here from other parts of the Republic, we must keep the appearance of our buildings impeccable. Right, well... It does look quite nice, sometimes. Locked from other side, right, okay. What about this one? Ah, okay. Alright, an underground shortcut to the main square. The passageway suffers from intermittent power outages, the reason for which is still unknown. <laughs> so what you're telling me is flickering lights? Okay. We're going to be dealing with the headless guy, I think. Those who don't know the passageway well should avoid using it, since without power, the corridor turns into total darkness. On another note, the resident living in the upper penthouse is suffering from strange fevers. Hmm. This does not seem to have any connection to the winery fevers, but for your own safety, please leave your homes as little as possible. That's Joan Costa there. Okay. Right. Trouble is a brewing down here. But I feel I do want to go down here. I think it's worth it. Because I get my hands on the flashlight! Oh god, and it electrocutes me. Nope! I'm alive! I'm alive and I can see! It's amazing! <laughs> I've been playing a long, long time. It takes a long time for you to get a light source in this game, but man, feels good when you do. Okay, right, so... This would give us access to the... The darker areas. 
So, where I came through, what we got here? Alright. Oh. <laughs> well, oh no. Oh, what's going on with the flashlight? Oh, okay, so there's no battery meter, but it can overheat. So I'm just going to stand here in the darkness for a few seconds. <laughs> Brilliant, lantern's ready. There we go. Alright, well this isn't ideal. It might look okay from the outside, but inside's... Oh, no es bueno. Uh, this way? Nothing there? No. No, it doesn't look like it. Oh. Alright, well we've gone up a floor at the very least. What have we gone up here? Okay, through here? Ah, that needs a key. And it looks like we're not going to be getting any further either. And unfortunately, I can't reach through and grab that either. Okay, well, if I if I maybe go back, yeah, there is ah, there is another way up. Yeah, here we are. There we go. Yeah, you pretty much need the flashlight for this. Good luck doing that in the pitch darkness. I mean, it's probably possible if you know exactly where you're going, but I'd rather not. Okay. For the attention of the young, single man who lives in this flat, the community organization has received complaints of noises and shrieking at all hours of the night and during the day. This situation cannot continue. Your neighbors have to work long hours in the vineyards and therefore need their rest. If the shouting and noises continue by tomorrow, we'll be forced to notify the authorities. We remind you that if the authorities find any kind of illegal drugs in your home, you will be evicted. Right. Well, I suppose that's probably because of the devil's fevers, right? we go up again? We can. This appears to be the top of the building. Where we find the key! There you go! Alright. So... Uh, is it gonna be the double doors at uh, the floor below that we need to go to? It might be. Let's have a look at this first. Uh, Right. Due to the terrible situation the city now suffers from the commonly called Devil's Fevers, we had no choice but to seal off the upper flats and force residents to stay in their homes. Perhaps if the young man in room B hadn't spent his time with certain people, you wouldn't be confined with no way to go outside. All of the neighbours wish the sick a speedy recovery. Please understand that we're all fearful, so if you need food or water, we won't be able to help you. Those of us who are still healthy wish you all the best, and please remember that we should all behave in a peaceful, civil manner. Until you go hunting down the Bani de Bosque family, I guess. Right. Okay, so, uh... Let's see. Down here? <laughs> Gently does it. Don't want to fall all the way down. I'll certainly break my leg if that's the case. Uh, right. Let's see. Was it here? I think it's this one, right? Here we are! Okay. Love the tiles. <laughs> okay. Oh, Looks like we got a hole here. Doesn't seem to lead to much though, never mind. Yeah, bit of a shame I can't get rid of the shutters. Ah, oh okay, a hole to a hole? What's in here? Not much. Right. Yeah, uh, well, down in the alleyways, it doesn't look too great, but as long as they've got nice facades, right? As long as it looks okay from the front. This way? Okay. Oh yeah, I, I really do need this flashlight, this lantern, so... Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can time when I turn it off. Another hole? All right. Uh, doesn't really lead to anything. Here. Locked. Okay. Locked. Are you kidding me? Oh, okay, hang on, right. I need to turn this off as well. Well, I'm, I'm definitely not going through there. Because, I mean, there's actually no opening. <laughs> so, well, we got to go back on ourselves, I guess? Unless there is something here. No, okay. Um, down we go then, I suppose. Right. Oh. Oh! <laughs> Alright, okay. I remember this bit now. Oh boy. Oh, there he is, there he is. Okay. Oh, that's right! Yeah, we want to get through there. 
We want to get through there. Okay, it's these symbols that we need to have a look at. Right. He's coming round, isn't he? Yep, okay. Okay, yeah, thankfully I can kind of cheese this guy. Because he can't crouch down, he can't crawl through here. Yeah, I get a lot of time to just sort of sit on my laurels and think about what I need to do. Okay, so it's that and that. When he comes around, I'll see if I can put that in. Right. No. Is it that one? Could be that one, to be honest. Right, we got more symbols around here somewhere. Okay. Oh shit, here he comes. <laughs> Running in the dark here. Okay, I think I saw the same symbol, basically. For, for the other one. For this one? Was that it? Yeah, that's it, that's it. I, it's, it's round the wrong way, though. I don't know if that matters. So we need to find one more. Where's it going to be? Where's it going to be? To be honest, I, I seem to remember not finding it before. Okay, maybe I should just try it and, and see what happens, you know? Okay. Wrong code. <laughs> of course it's the wrong fucking code. Okay. Well, let's make a slight alteration and try it again, shall we? Okay. So... I don't know. Uh, to be honest, I may have got the other ones wrong. It oh shit, that actually works! Oh, okay. I got a clobber in, but... That was... that was when they were all the same, right? Oh shit, right. Yeah, okay, we're through, we're through. <laughs> I need to run in the dark for a while, oh god. Hopefully this doesn't get me killed. Come on, come on, hurry up! He's coming! He's fucking cub. He's coming, yep. Come on. Right, here we go. I can do this in the dark. I can just feel it out. Right. Into the open air. Come on. Oh God, here we go. This is it. This is it. This is this is the end of the demo, I think. Right. Come oh, okay. Um... I think I need to swim for once. Yeah, it doesn't send me back to shore this time. And this time it doesn't say thank you very much for playing the demo. This time it says, you fall off the bridge into a mosquito-infested pond of water. With your last ounce of strength, you swim to the water's edge. Once you regain your composure, you realize that everything is completely silent. No sign of your pursuer. You lost your lantern in the water. Your head is still hurting, so you decide to rest a few minutes by the water. The pain is unbearable. Little by little, you get up and decide to keep going. Alright, and now I suppose we're on to chapter 3 of 5, and this, from here on in, is gonna be new. Yeah. So is that where I jumped down from? Yeah, okay. Well. I've been recording for a long time, so I think this is where I'm gonna end the first video of this game, but... I'm sure there's going to be a couple more. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I really enjoyed this, even going through it a second time. If you did enjoy this, leave this video a like. Helps me out a great deal. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Let me know if you want to see a part two. And uh, yeah, perhaps I'll be seeing you in that part two. See you then. There is no one left alive. So it seems. Ooh. <laughs> Take this all in. Take a deep breath. And then let's leave. Ah, oh, I can't sail home now. I need to find this bottle of red wine. Can I swim? Okay, I can't swim home either. Never mind. That hasn't changed since the demo. <laughs> right, so... Maybe... Oh, and sometimes we do find things. This is not one of those times, apparently. Alright. No, it's not all right, actually. <laughs> Jesus Christ. There is no escape, essentially. There is a lot of reading, though. I do not want to end up like that box. <laughs> to be honest, I... thought the door would be closed. Ah. Oh. 
I only slightly broke my leg, don't worry. Again, broke another little bit of my leg. There we go. Nope. <laughs> Can we... Oh! Right, again, a slight break to my leg. <laughs> and there's another one. Oh, yes! <laughs> oh, okay, that's a fourth break. I have a feeling it's all to the same leg, too. Sidling along the wall. <laughs> okay. I think that one just broke because I looked at it funny. What about you? Yeah, okay, I have like a death stare or something. Certain sections, I remember. Certain other ones, I- Whoa! Definitely don't! Oh, Jesus! Ah! Uh, what? Okay. Wait. What? <laughs> left. Let's go left. I think that's how I got through this before. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> oh, shit, shit. I oh! Oh, okay. <laughs> there was a trap door in there somewhere, I guess. And this is apparently locked. Hmm. <laughs> Pressing X to doubt on that one. For the good of all, the alternative is death. Rock in a hard place. I promise we will get a light source soon. Probably. Alright, let's get out of these flickering lights, shall we? Oh boy. Okay, yep. Oi! <laughs> we heard that. So... I, oh, Jesus Christ. It's really slowing me down. There's no sprinting either. Oh, don't do this to me. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, I'm tripping again. So it is through here? <laughs> right, um... This way? This way? <laughs> because I get my hands on the flashlight! Oh god, and it electrocutes me. We should all behave in a peaceful, civil manner. Until you go hunting down the Bani de Bosque family, I guess. Oh shit, here he comes. <laughs> it, oh shit, that actually works! 